the two uh, recommended uh, uh, way of uh, uh, giving milk to the infant is first and foremost breast for a variety of uh, reasons and as I said uh, breast contains not that much iron but the little iron that is contained is absorbed a lot better than anything uh, than any other kind of formula so that even that little amount of iron generally is enough. Now uh, we have to remember that if the, bre the child is exclusively fed with breast uh, after age six months, uh, although the absorption is still very good, the uh, amount of iron uh, in that milk uh, is not enough. So that would be one time where supplementation with, uh, for instance, vitamin with iron uh, from the outside would be a reasonable uh, approach. Um, formula generally has more iron, although it absorbs a little bit less, and that's generally enough throughout the period of time that it's used. Uh, Dr. Green, sometimes prematures go home and they're given an additional amount of iron. What is that? Um, both the newborn and the premature baby have all their iron uh, stored essentially in the circulating blood, meaning that there is no iron in any of the other organs. Uh, the premature infant has a, a smaller amount of iron in their circulation, uh, and therefore they require more iron uh, supplements during uh, uh, their initial months of life. In addition, if they um, have had any kind of a medical complication, they may actually have lost some iron uh, in the process. Uh, a variety of uh, issues in the PQ may lead to that. Dr. Grimey, adolescents sometimes get anemic, as you alluded to. Obviously, you can serve a kid at a a lot of nosebleeds and lost blood, or had a GI bleed, maybe some kind of gastrointestinal. But young female who menstruate the first time sometimes get very heavy periods, and that can be a cause. Uh, yes. Uh, I alluded to the fact that uh, teenagers may have uh, diet habits uh, that may be problematic in terms of iron intake, but uh, there's no question that uh, the, uh, for females, for the young girls who are starting to menstruate, especially those who have uh, as often occurs, irregular or heavy menstrual periods uh, over a period of months, occasionally even a couple of years, uh, those uh, individuals are at particular risk uh, for iron uh, deficiency. Is there any danger of giving iron without checking? Is there any risk? Uh, to iron uh, is a actually is a, it's a finely regulated substance in our body because it actually is potentially very toxic. Uh, in a variety of ways. And so, uh, on one end, if you have too little, there are a number of problems, as we already discussed. Uh, you can actually poison yourself if you take too much iron, both from the point of view of an acute poisoning, that is a possibility, as well as, uh, uh, to some degree, chronic uh, uh, poisoning. So that uh, there, is, there is a fine balance, yes. So it's very good if you keep iron in the house to keep it away from young children, because it can't be a poison. Correct. It is uh, one of those, uh, uh, all medicine should be kept away from uh, kids, but uh, uh, iron is particularly uh, possible often enough to see kids in the emergency room with acute iron poisoning. Thank you, Doctor.